If you just somebody who want the regular wings, you regular, get some regular wings and then just say, yo, you know what? Let me get one ten piece of those lemon pepper. Let me just see what's cracking. And take them home and then you don't say nothing and let your girl try them. And then you will see. Thank me later. You could DM me, tweet me. I ain't tripping. <laughs> they always do it. As Atlanta goes, so goes the nation. The songs, the slang, the fashion, the dances, it's all here. And lemon pepper wings are just another part of the ATL wave. I'm here, I'm hungry, so pucker up because in this wing town, lemon pepper is king. We literally have a wing spot on every fucking corner in Atlanta. And it's legendary, it's like part of the culture. You walk around Atlanta streets for, you know, a couple of days, you'll start seeing just wing bones. They're all over the place. You have to get lemon pepper wings. Hot is good, barbecued is good, but lemon pepper is the bomb. Hot is probably lit since little wings, but lemon pepper is the Kelly. It's a chicken wing coated in a really zesty, really lemony, tangy sauce, complemented by black pepper. You get sweet, you get sour. Just enough tangy to where, you know, it hits you. You're not seeing squeezed lemons and pepper dashed on it. It's a butter sauce, and they're tossing it in it. We put them in a bucket, we put a little bit of butter to it to get them wet. Or if you want them dry rub, we'll just sprinkle the lemon pepper on that. Lemon pepper wet, all flats, like, who, who are you hearing that from? Why are you in the strip club? Let me get 10 flat. Strip clubs got like the best wings. And we keeping the party going. Money, wings. But it's funny because I'm not the only one who comes here for the wings. You just joining the club right now. You in, you involved. Like I said, you see what's going on behind us. This is the show. You coming here for, for that show. This is this is the, the opening act here. A lot of people think that's like sketchy. They're like, y'all eat at the yeah. club? How do you eat around naked girls? And the food must be sus. And yeah, of course. What got in the food? You know, you always hear that. But like, if you were to go to a strip club and the food was trash, that would be really offensive to you as a person. Absolutely, from but you wouldn't find that in Atlanta, though. Like the strip clubs in Atlanta have literally the best food. That's not. I'm not even exaggerating about it. And everybody in the city knows that. You know, I'm here getting wings. I'm at Cheetah getting steak. I'm at, you know, Blue Flame getting salmon from Chef Kale's and Kale's Kitchen. Like so this is the Atlanta way. This is what we do every single day. You're liable to run into the biggest rapper in the city. The A and R from Def Jam, the A and R from Menoscope. You're liable to run into Coach K and Migos, and you might see the mayor in here, right next to the Migos. The way that a strip club kind of sets the tone and sets trends in music in Atlanta, mm -hmm. is it any surprise to you that it's also setting a trend when it comes to food, when it comes to lemon pepper wings? The lemon pepper thing started because what we started doing was getting hot wings and putting the lemon pepper sprinkles on on the hot wings to break up the heat. Oh. That was the way that we kind of got into just fully just eating lemon pepper. It was like, you know what? I'm tired of having your tongue burning, your teeth is red because you got hot sauce all over. You're getting stuff all over your white teeth. It's not sexy, you're sweating, no. your nose is running, you're tearing up. The last thing you want to do is touch a chick, shake her hand, pulling out money, digging in your pocket with hot and sauce all over. And leave a big smear oh, man, of how embarrassing red is that? <laughs> that's, that's so embarrassing. Yo, I never really <laughs> thought about how the lemon pepper wing is kind of like the perfect strip club food. Old faithful, old faithful. <laughs> lemon pepper wings, always a little bit. The cult of lemon pepper is strong in Atlanta's legendary strip clubs, but this special seasoning has evangelists all over the city, namely its homegrown rap superstars. As much as you hear lemon pepper in rap lyrics, you would think that it was a luxury car or a clothing line. Lemon pepper wings in Atlanta is just, it's like a peach. It's like an apple to New York. It's like white boys in Croc shoes. It's just shit that we, you're gonna do. Like, it's just gonna happen, my boy. Like, it's like wearing khakis. You love khaki pants, right? I'm talking to you motherfuckers out there. That's lemon peppers, bro. Like, if you eat chicken and you never ate a lemon pepper wing, slap the shit out yourself right now. I made like every beginning single, eating fucking JR crickets in the studio. 
That's my specialty. Order 150 wings. Well, you say lemon pepper wings. Goddamn, you hear, huh? And like, hey, you got some lemon pepper, huh? Like, yeah, it's Ross all the way, man. At this point, you are more than just an artist, a mogul, a, a label, CEO, but you're a, a wing don. You're the next colonel. <laughs> you're the... You're running a wing empire. Tell me, how many wing stops do you own right now? Somewhere around 30. You know, as a youngster coming up, I just, you know, I enjoyed whatever we was enjoying. But once I tried lemon pepper wings, it was just unique. It was different. The zing of lemon, just imagine pepper. I was just like, yo, this for me. <laughs> like, whatever your favorite thing is you have ever eaten, that's what that is for me. It's real easy. Rose said they was the best wings. Go and buy some fucking lemon pepper wings. The oral history of Atlanta is always told through hip hop. Whether it's lyrics about local landmarks, fashion trends, new slang, or now the city's favorite flavor wings. My boy Maurice Garland is an encyclopedia of all that. So we went to his hip hop trivia night that he hosts with Brandon Peters to see if local fans know their lemon pepper facts. Well, Gucci Mane songs lemonade. He rapped about having lemon pepper wings and what beverage to go along with it. Hip-hop is a branding machine. Hip-hop has always been about name dropping and claiming something. I feel like lemon pepper wings is now hip-hop's food. The first time I heard somebody just like specifically put it in a song, it was probably like, you know, Gucci Mane Lemonade song. We were talking about, you know, lemon pepper wings with freeze cup. I mean, obviously the umpteen times that Rick Ross has mentioned it, you know what I'm saying? Like, even before he was owning Wingstop restaurants, it was like, damn, this is obviously this man's favorite food. You know, before he was trying to sell it to me, he was obviously eating the hell out of these yes. things. But with Ross, I mean, of course he's gonna say he has the best, but I can bet money that there's gonna be a lot of people that strongly disagree with that statement. Wingstop is, you know, obviously a very successful franchise, but at the same time, like, it is a franchise. Sometimes when you go to that hood spot, you're like, man, JJ was in a good ass mood today, dog. He put his foot in these wings. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we asked you to name the restaurant that Paperboy and Darius got lemon pepper wet wings from on the TV show Atlanta. That is JR Crickets. Most of y'all got that right. It feels like the lemon pepper cult kind of came to a head during that episode of Atlanta where they had the scene right here in JR Cricket. When you saw the previews for Atlanta, you didn't really know what it was about. You didn't know, is it gonna authentically cover this Atlanta culture on this like national scale? And then right off the bat in the second episode, they open up this box of wings and they're glowing and you remember like, that's how you feel about lemon pepper wings if you're from here. So Stephen Glover, which is Donald Glover's um, brother, yeah. he um, was one of the writers on the episode, and he said that he kind of created the episode to blend the best of both worlds from J.R. Crickets and American Deli. So American Deli is known for their lemon pepper wet style, and J.R. Crickets is just known as like the Buffalo King. When I saw Donald Glover's scene in FX's Atlanta, I immediately thought, number one, hey, I don't remember that being on J.R. Cricket's menu. But at the time, like, lemon pepper wet is something just we wanted. It's like something super specific that you wouldn't get anywhere else. It could only have been at American Deli that he uh, found that that term, particular term, lemon pepper wet. We never asked, like, what's your order gonna be when you go to American Deli after school? It was yeah. all, we're getting lemon pepper. That was just it. It's like a litmus test of yeah. whether you are. Like, are you Atlanta? <laughs> We just caught the glow of that J.R. Cricket's Lemon Pepper Wet, and now I understand how Paperboy felt in that episode of Atlanta. But there's so many different favorites in this city, and I asked my boy Rembert, a proud Atlanta native, to gather his friends for the ultimate wing showdown. I was like, hey, what if I call all my friends from home and we go to the backyard and we get wings from five different places yeah. and then we do a little blind taste test. These are all semi-wing snobs that eat a lot of wings, love their wings, but more importantly, love Atlanta. There are five places and they're kind of spread all over, like, like geographically, okay. uh, kind of the type of wings. 
LT's is like the South Side staple. JR Crickets is like the famous one. There's Dugan's, American Deli, and then Wingstop. <laughs> okay, everyone take a wing and have an opinion. Are you all in agreement about flats versus drums? Flats. No, flats. 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 You're a kid, you want a fucking drum. When you grow up, you want some flats, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, oh, so like the grown and sexy flats crowd? That's what? <laughs> that's what? <laughs> that's what. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm, wearing, I'm going to a gala, I eat flats. <laughs> like, does everyone know proper like flat yeah. technique? You gotta right. do the, like, the rock back and forth. Oh, 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 then you pull out the little one. No. no and then you get basically a drum. It's like a Reese's, there's no wrong way to eat it. You think that's LT's? That's I LT's. Know that's that's LT's. LT's. Like I've been in it. Like, I know LT's. that's LT's. Why do you know that's LT's? Because look at look at the love that was put in. The <laughs> <laughs> the There's some that are more lemony than peppery. They should be more peppery than lemony. We're about to yeah. unveil. Right. Okay. This is JR Cricket. That's Cricket. Oh. Wow. No. 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 That's wrong. Number two. I see something scratched up. Dugan. Dugan. I knew that was an American wow. deli. This one, number five. Oh. LT. Wow. Oh. Oh. Well, mine is blown. And really this one, blown. number three. This is my American favorite. Deli. Oh. American deli. Hold on. Wow. I, I, like wow. I don't know why y'all talking shit about American deli. This is. The wing stop. This is the wing stop. That's the, somebody's first foray into lemon pepper wings. Right? Yeah. 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 It's an amateur. Trying too, try too high. Trying too high. Is that shot at Rick Ross? Let's just like take a little vote. <coughs> Which one is the best one? LT. Right oh, I don't know, man. I like this yeah. one. Yeah. Dude, this is forever. I mean, you know, long live Atlanta, long live the wing. Oh, it's LT. Oh, my God. Yeah. See? Okay. See? We'll, oh, we'll have a one moment five. for one Rem five. to have his orgasm. Oh, my here. God. But are we are we buying are we buying low on on, on lemon pepper wings? Are they like what I'm saying is like are they about to blow up? I mean, or are they, they are we peaking right now? <laughs> like, we peaking right this is now? a very good question. Like, is, is it gonna be like a Taco Bell shell flavor lemon pepper? Like, we, like should we should we get out now <laughs> and remember these good times that we had? <laughs> but what we've gathered from this taste test is that all wings are not created equal. But that, I mean, this is just the universal magnet that brings a lot of people together here in Atlanta. Yeah. True or false? True. 100%. Can I get an amen? Amen. Amen. Amen, amen Quinn. We didn't invent these wings. Like, it's not like the only people that use these spices, but somehow, like, this dish fell into our lap, and we got really excited about it, and we're like, this is ours. Music is different here and it's popping right now. I don't understand nothing they saying, but I like the beat, and it look good in a strip club with a container full of chicken wings next to it. Six of lemon pepper with some fries? Whew. It's life. Every time I walk into the store, it's like the first time, boy, I'm finna get them lemon pepper again. I've seen Big Boy take whole platters the next day and they're sitting out and throw them out, let us pit bulls eat them. Even they eat lemon pepper wings. You know, people from Philadelphia can come down here and say, Ah, your Philly cheesesteak places are whack. You know, a person from Chicago comes and say, Ah, your deep dish pizza places are whack. Mm -hmm. But like with wings, it's like, nah, this is our shit, bruh. Lemon pepper wings are Atlanta. It doesn't matter how it started, it matters what Atlanta did once they got it. So whoever created it. Thank you.